Don't know if anybody else is coming. There's one thing since it's, you know, just me and you and all my friend. Let's see. Uh, I want to make sure that I share a tab so that I'm not putting myself out there. But <clears throat> I did just want to see this. So uh, I did get this today because we were talking about Batman. Uh, we were talking about Batman earlier in the in the DC comics and stuff uh, earlier. So I I couldn't I couldn't help myself. I did order this uh, earlier today, so it should be in later this week. So this is a metal. It's a print on metal poster of Batman four twenty three. Uh, so it's the Batman Batman comics issue four twenty three. This was one of my uh, this I mean this this was one of my favorites. Uh, it came out in nineteen eighty eight September of nineteen eighty eight when it was first released. I didn't read it until a bit later, of course, because 1988, I was like, I don't know, one, <laughs> something like that. But Batman 423 is one of the most well-known and one of the most beloved comics among Batman fans. And I tried to see if I could pick up the comic. I tried to see if I could pick up the comic. But a first printing, uh, I was looking at some of the first prints run anywhere from 200 to $300. And I was like, oh, I can't. I just... I could swing that, but I was like, I, but I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I did see a third printing that was still like $65, $70. And, but I don't want a third printing. You want something like this. You, you want a first printing. So I don't know, maybe I'll save up. I'll keep my eye out, try to find one. But I did see this, it's a, this, the metal poster. It's one of the most iconic Batman, the comic covers that was ever made. Uh, I mean, just, I love the artwork, right? Just like, just looking at the artwork. Uh, so th there are some, there are some iconic, there are some iconic Batman covers. Like everybody recognizes, uh, it was Batman 666, I think, uh, of all, of all numbers where you have Bane breaking Batman's back, right? And everybody, everybody recognizes that one. Uh, but that was iconic for its story, right? That was Bane breaking Batman. Everybody recognizes the cover to Death in the Family, uh, you know, with Batman holding Robin's broken body after after Robin had been killed by the Joker, right? But and but all of those, but this one, Batman four twenty three. I mean, just look at the look at the artwork of the cover. Look at at Batman, right? You've got the bats surrounding him. It's this badass picture. Look at like the cape is forming this the protection around the, the girl. I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second. Like this is iconic. This is iconic for its artwork, right? That's what uh, that's what really made this recognizable was it was it the artwork. And I was like, all right, all right if I can't pick up the comic because I don't want to spend two hundred three hundred dollars for the comic right now, I was like, ah, yeah, I'll get this. I'll get this because it, this is just, it's one of the favorites. So Batman, it's uh, 423, the issue 423. The title of the comic is You Should Have Seen Him. And it's three Gotham police police officers. They're at a, a diner, I think, uh, you know, but, they, they're, but e they're telling their stories to each other about their encounter with the Batman. And so you see these three, it's three kind of different, perspectives on who batman is that's what it was so great like so the first guy you know the first officer's telling his story uh he was on a bridge there was like a suicide guy you know whatever somebody's about to jump off the bridge and batman swings in saves him uh and gives him a you know sp like a speech about the value of life uh that you know life is worth living it was kind of you know interesting that you know, on that respect batman is not the the you know the just the nihilist like vengeful seeking kind of Batman, but somebody that actually values human life. Uh, you know, and of course, and each one of their stories, they talk about, oh man, you should have seen him. And it's the title of the comic. Uh, and then the second, the second cop is telling his story, uh, but it was a robbery. I don't remember if it was a bank robbery or not, but anyway, Batman just shows up and I mean, just beats the shit out of everybody. I mean, puts the fear of God in them, you know, and just like, and that's, is like the ass kicking Batman. Uh, he's like, oh, you should have seen him. And the third cop is talking about he was chasing these two kids. Um, and he's worried. He sees Batman is chasing after them, too. And he says, you know, in the cop was worried. He's like, I've always heard Batman's all scary, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I don't know how, we're, how, he'll, uh, how he'll interact with kids. But what's funny, so Batman catches them. And he stays around with the cop, with, with the kids, long enough until they're, they're actually comfortable telling their story. And it turns out they're orphans. 
and Batman tells him, he said, well, don't worry, kid. You know, and they, they don't want to go in the, the foster system because they'll be split up or whatever. And, and Batman tells them, you know, don't worry, kids. My good friend, Bruce Wayne, uh, he'll look after you, right? He'll put you up until we can find a family that'll take you, that'll take you in. And, and the, the comic ends, you know, the next morning they're at Wayne Manor and Bruce Wayne is looking over the kids. They're sleeping and Alfred's there. And, you know, Alfred asks him, he says, is the Batman going soft? And uh, and Bruce Wayne says to Alfred, he says, well, not soft enough that anybody but you would notice, Alfred. But what was funny is the cop telling his story. When Batman hears that these kids are orphans and blah, 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 the cop says, oh, I could have sworn that he, that Batman shed a tear for them. And it was just, it's really cool. You can see why it's one of the most beloved of, of the comics is you get these kind of different perspectives from the police officers on Batman. I love the way that's brought out in the artwork. I mean, you can see Batman, the protector, like, I mean, his cape around the little girl, like it's, it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, so when I saw this, I was like, all right, I'll have it. Uh, I'll, I'll get it since I can't spend 300 bucks for the comic. Nah, whatever. 